Hello, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries. Listen, um, the, um, how would I put this? The Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9, um, kosher ones, um, they say that Passover is on April 8th at sundown. And uh, you never know. They might be wanting to do something like the uh, first Passover in Egypt where the firstborn in Egypt died. So who knows? Maybe they will turn on the um, OG 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But if they do, um, you know, they can blame it on the, the V, the beer, right? The Mexican beer. Um, but if you have seeds, I would strongly recommend that you put them in a metal container. And, uh, if you don't have a metal container to put them in, like an ammo box, army ammo box, well, you could always wrap them up in aluminum foil because, uh, you know, I don't know what, uh, microwaves will do to seeds but I'm sure it can't be good and I'd sure hate to spend money on seeds and uh, then you plant them and then they nothing happens that would be a really really bad thing right especially with what they uh, plan on doing look up Holomodor H-O-L-O-M-O-D-O-R it was in the Ukraine look at look that up I don't want to get into uh, the details, but you could look it up. And uh, the plan in the past is the plan for the future. Um, I know some people try to figure out when Passover is. Some people use the moon. Other people use the sun. Now, in a perfect world, uh, in a perfect circle... The earth, a year would be 360 days. You know, there's 360 degrees in a circle. Gee, I guess I took geometry or something, huh? But, um, you know, our earth takes, if, if NASA and everybody else isn't lying to us, uh, it would be, it's 365 and a quarter days. That's why every four years there's a what they call a leap day. So... Uh, and then the moon, from what I understand, rises, I think it's a, what, a half hour different later every day. But in a perfect month, you would have 12 months of 30 days. That would be 360. But it's not. So from people that calculate Passover from the sun, they say it's two weeks after the spring equinox. What's the equinox? There's two times a year when the day and the night are almost exactly the same or as close as possible. And that is the equinox. Uh, theoretically, the day and the night would be the exact same amount of time. But uh, 14 days after that was Passover. So, um, and that was when the firstborn in Egypt died. So, I don't know what's going on. It uh, might be advantageous to be on the 8th at sundown to be in a extremely rural area that's not uh, anywhere near towers, if you know, catch my drift, cell phone towers. So, if nothing else, uh, I wonder if aluminum foil would block the G12345 microwaves, you know? I don't know. I spent 200 bucks buying a, a meter 
Uh, I got mine from England where they're burning down these towers, I've heard. <laughs> they don't want them. Boy, I bet you that makes the you-know-who's mad. But it's called a an Acousticon 2 from EMF Fields. It's from England. I got it on Amazon. 180 bucks. I don't know how great it is, but it was recommended by somebody I don't know. So just some, you know, things to think about. I mean, I'm not claiming to be a prophet or anything. Um, yeah, it's just some thoughts. But yeah, put some seeds. If you got seeds, you might want to put them in a metal container or wrap them up in aluminum foil. And uh, yeah, they say people like me are tin foil hat wearers. You know what? It might actually be a good idea to wear a tin foil hat. See, they always mock us, you know, like the movie The Hunger Games. Think about that when you watch Hullamador. Um, get the book Behind Communism uh, by author Frank Britton, two T's. And uh, look up all the names in a 1925 Jewish encyclopedia. Learn something. All those church people that don't believe in the serpent seed of Genesis chapter 6, when the sons of God went in under the daughters of men, when they, um, well, if you don't know who the sons of God were, read Job chapter 38. The sons of God shouted for joy at the foundation of the earth. Well, they couldn't have been the children of Adam because Adam wasn't created until six days after the foundation of the earth. Okay? So, the sons of God had to have been angels since when you look at days one through seven in the uh, Genesis when God was doing his creation, nowhere in the Bible does it say that the angels were created on the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, or sixth day. But uh, it does say that angels were shouting for joy, the sons of God, the the stars, the host of heaven, uh, at the creation of the earth. So, you know what? Trust me. By the time all said and done, all these church people that uh, fought that doctrine, they're gonna they're gonna believe. They're gonna absolutely believe when um, hell on earth happens. In the book of Psalms, it says. All nation, uh, I'm sorry, and the wicked shall be turned into hell, and all nations that forget God. I might be paraphrasing, but uh, it's in there, people. And we're about to be turned into hell. The church is has um, tolerated and even promoted the things that God calls an abomination, abortion, sodomy gay rights, gay marriage. Uh, they bless those that curse Jesus Christ and call them the chosen ones. Boy, I'll tell you what, if they think they're going to get any protection from the Lord for those, from those that blaspheme his only begotten son, well, uh, there was a rock song called you got another thing coming. Yeah, I used to be a rock and roller, but uh, I don't listen to music much anymore. Not when I know who makes it. Oh, I got a really good comment today on my channel. I can't take credit for this. Um, I believe it was a female. She quoted um, the Bible verse where it says, The love of money is the root of all evil. And then pointed out, well, who prints all our money? Oh, boy, I hearted that comment. Wish I could have given it five stars. Yeah, the love of money is the root of all evil. And who prints the money? I wonder who. All right, everybody, Chaplain Bob signing off. Um, stay strong. Just some thoughts. I don't know what's going to happen. Lord doesn't talk to me. 
directly anymore. Well, I I wouldn't say he did in the past either, but uh, there were times that I kind of thought he did. But in a roundabout way, I guess you could say. So, all right. Well, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. Chaplain Bob signing off. <laughs>